Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Soul Land based on novel. So let's start. Tang San looked a bit astonished at Xiao Bo, but he didn't say anything else. He had already spent a lot of time in order to be able to absorb as much as possible of the deep sea demon whale king's energy, and he didn't want all of his efforts to be wasted. Besides, the deep sea demon whale king's spirit ring wasn't so easily absorbed. A million years of cultivation, who knew what kind of trouble it would be to absorb. Tang San took down his sea god trident from the eight spider lances on his back, laying it across his knees. Light flashed in his eyes, and raising his left hand, he once again summoned the clear sky hammer. Compared to when he fought just now, the clear sky hammer was visibly much smaller. Without all its eight spirit rings it could only maintain its basic shape. However, on the surface of that black hammer, the scarlet red death god domain pattern was even clearer. From it, Tang San instantly again sensed the presence of that energy that determined the outcome of the battle with the deep sea demon whale king just now. And at the same time, as he summoned the clear sky hammer, Xiao Bai clearly trembled a bit beneath him. Xiao Bai was a hundred thousand year spirit beast, and that she reacted this much, just from slightly sensing the clear sky hammer's presence, showed what kind of level it had reached. The sea god trident brand on Tang San's forehead brightened. He absolutely wouldn't blindly go absorbing the deep sea demon whale king's spirit ring. If he did, he would very possibly drown in calamity. Only by adequately exploiting all that he could would he be fully assured. Illuminated by the sea god's light, a hazy blue light appeared on the clear sky hammer. Tang San waved his second spirit at the deep sea demon whale king and simultaneously released his mental power. At such a moment, Tang San no longer had any other choice. He couldn't possibly give up on the deep sea demon whale king's million year spirit ring. Tang San was certain that even though his strength would leap up after reaching the god level, the stronger he was before that, and the stronger his spirit rings, the greater his strength would naturally be after becoming god. The clear sky hammer radiated red light, instantly erupting with incomparable aggressiveness. Tang San could clearly feel Xiao by sink below him, trembling violently. The red light emanating from the clear sky hammer was like a terrifying aura, suddenly revealing its sharp teeth at that purple whirlpool. Strangely, the instant that purple whirlpool came into contact with the clear sky hammer's red light, Tang San instantly froze in midair. He only felt an unprecedentedly enormous power suddenly rush into his energy channels, the cool sea water couldn't approach Tang San. The reason he fell so quickly was that the purple energy surrounding him directly pushed away the sea water, bringing him towards the bottom of the sea. In fact, the place where the deep sea demon whale king lived was obviously the deepest marine trench within 10,000 li of ocean. Tang San only felt the light around him grow darker and darker, and the energy within him also surged more and more violently. The process of absorbing this spirit ring was already completely out of his control. Submit to the will of the heavens. Tang San gave a wry laugh in his heart. The clear sky hammer seemed glued to his hand without flying away. What Tang San didn't see was that on the clear sky hammer wrapped up in purple, the death god domain. The clear sky hammer wrapped up in purple light couldn't be seen, but Tang San clearly saw his left hand gradually turn from purple to red. And this red was also quickly spreading. Along with the change in color, Tang San only felt his left hand and right arm grow icy cold. Just as Tang San had no idea what was going on, suddenly the red light that had originally stopped in his left shoulder suddenly moved, and it moved with the weight of 15 tons of thunder. Piercing cold instantly spread passing through Tang San's shoulder straight to every corner of his body. The red light only didn't invade a range of 10 centimeters around the sea god trident brand on his forehead. Tang San had originally expected that if the enormous energy from the deep sea demon whale king's spirit ring was absorbed, it would definitely intensely attack the energy within him, and he would have to rely on the sea god's light to restrain it, absorbing it drop by drop. But this absorption process didn't progress as Tang San had expected. Let alone that the sea god's light was entirely useless the deep sea demon whale kings didn't even cause him any trouble. The entire process was instead led by the clear sky hammer in his left hand, as if only the clear sky hammer's energy could control his body. On the surface of the sea, everyone waited anxiously. Suddenly, Xiao Bai's expression changed, the midsection of the deep sea demon whale king's corpse 
she was protecting suddenly vibrated intensely. Just as Xiao Bai wanted to suppress it with her energy, with a loud blast, a giant hole blew into the deep sea demon whale king's body, and immediately, a purple bone flew out. That was a bone like a spine, but there were still other bones linked to it. It was the spirit bone. It was lustrous purple like made from amethyst, but most strange was that it released energy in the form of a small whirlpool that carried it along. Indeed, this was the spirit bone a spirit beast past a hundred thousand year would produce, and it was also a spirit bone produced according to what Tang San as the killer needed. To spirit masters, among the six necessary spirit bones, the most important one was the torso spirit bone. And this was also the spirit bone Tang San lacked. Watching all this, the six devils couldn't help simultaneously breathing out. Clearly Tang San absorbing the last spirit bone he needed, and that he still had the energy to absorb it proved that he was in no danger. But they had no idea that Tang San was now under unspeakable suffering. Just after that red energy condensed on his six spirit bones constantly pouring ice-cold energy within, the sea god trident brand on his forehead couldn't take it anymore. Intense golden light radiated from the sea god trident brand, illuminating a large stretch of the sea bottom. At the same time six lines of golden light surged from the sea god trident brand, pouring into Tang San's six spirit bones. The ice-cold feeling was instantly dispersed replaced by the scorching heat so familiar to Tang San. The sea god's gold contained vast bright sacred energy, and the death god domain's evolved red contained was brimming with vast terrifying slaughter energy. These two were incompatible and immediately clashed. And the battleground was naturally Tang San's six spirit bones. The most pitiful one still wasn't Tang San. The enormous purple energy that belonged to the deep sea demon whale king's spirit ring should originally have been extremely terrifying, but in the clash of the red and golden light, its purple light was basically suppressed until it didn't even dare twitch. How did his spirit bones become battlefields? Tang San couldn't keep from screaming. Suddenly sacred, suddenly slaughter, suddenly ice cold, suddenly scorching hot, these two kinds of presences moreover contained different moods. Tang San thought correctly. However, the instant the clear sky hammer and sea god trident struck each other, trouble returned again. Because the deep sea demon whale spirit bone joined in, the deep sea demon whale king's million year spirit ring energy exploded again, suppressing the golden and red energies, and abruptly rose again, as these two weapons clashed. Terrifying slaughter energy, and vast sea god sacred energy erupted near simultaneously, and the pitiful deep sea demon whale king's powerful energy was instantly suppressed once again. The gold and red clearly weren't as powerful, but it still didn't dare resist. And at this moment, Tang San also clearly felt an intense power resound in the bones of his chest. His physical attributes quickly rose, and his originally faintly golden internals almost instantly turned completely golden. Moreover, that golden color was quickly spreading, through his veins, flesh, blood, and bones. Torso spirit bone. Tang San immediately understood. But he didn't understand was where this spirit bone came from. He hadn't summoned it. However, along with this spirit bone joining him, Tang San's previous pain was also alleviated a lot. After colliding with the sea god trident, the purple energy that originally enveloped the clear sky hammer shattered, exposing an evolved clear sky hammer covered with dense red patterns, brimming with intense killing energy as if a major killing tool. But the sea god trident hardly took it lying down. The long vanished golden light once again reappeared with the golden light bizarrely emanating from the brand on Tang San's forehead. Tang San had once carefully considered the circumstances of Qian Renshue's body. He knew the gold represented the god level, when Qian Renshue used her greatest strength, her skin once turned pure golden. That should probably only appear for a true god. Through absorbing this spirit ring and spirit bone regardless of the meaning of the two fighting colors, at least his body had still changed. The main battleground of the two colors was the deep sea demon whale torso spirit bone that had just fused with Tang San's body, as well as the external spirit bone eight spider lances. The golden color representing the sea god energy was bit by bit gaining the advantage and moreover expanding. The two sides, as clearly separated as the rivers Jing and Wei, stopped fighting as the deep sea demon whale king spirit ring energy disappeared. Clearly, they definitely weren't willing to use their own pure energy to struggle with each other. Just like two extremely cunning enemies. And the unlucky party was that deep sea demon whale king spirit ring. 
Finally over Tang San inwardly exhaled, he would rather fight the deep sea demon whale king again than to experience such torture. In both his hands, the sea god trident's golden light gradually waned, but the clear sky hammer's red pattern showed no sign of disappearing the red light on the surface, only dulled a bit. And on that clear sky hammer, another spirit ring had appeared a spirit ring that shocked Tang San. The spirit ring appeared pure gold, like Qian Rinshua's last spirit ring. The difference was that it didn't have the intense divine presence that Qian Rinshua's tenth spirit ring did. But in its place was a deep and immeasurable murderous intent. This? Was it a million-year-level spirit ring, or a god-level spirit ring? Tang San had no answer. But no matter what, this thing was definitely stronger than a hundred-thousand-year spirit ring. Sea God's eighth trial, perfect, Sea God set, pass. Reward, Sea God affinity up 30%. Overall affinity 99%. Hearing this voice, Tang San couldn't help scowling. When he completed the seventh trial, draw, divine instrument, sea god trident, his sea god affinity had already reached 85%. But this eighth trial still have 30% affinity. By reason he should be at 115% affinity. Even if the sea god affinity could only go up to 100%, he should still be at that highest 100%. Sea God Doluor Bo Saishi once told him that when his Sea God affinity reached 100%, he would be Sea God. And when he accepted the last trial, before inheriting the Sea God the higher this affinity was, the easier the inheritance would be. The Blue Silver Emperor right leg bones flying ability started, and at the same time Tang San withdrew the clear sky hammer, lightening the Sea God trident's weight, and using his buoyancy to swiftly rise towards the surface of the sea. As he ascended, he began to inspect his spirit power. His spirit power had not only broken the rank 97 bottleneck, but moreover broken two ranks in succession, rising straight to peak exceptional Dolu rank 99. Calculating the doubling spirit power increase, it made Tang San confident in even fighting Qian Renshua again. Actually, what Tang San didn't know was that the reason his spirit power had risen so much wasn't only the benefits of the deep sea demon whale king spirit ring and spirit bone. In fact after his spirit power reached rank 95, increasing each rank was extremely difficult, and while the deep sea demon whale king's spirit ring and spirit bone contained enormous energy, it could at most help him rise to rank 98. The reason why he broke through rank 99 was because of that close to intolerable pain. The battle between the sea god's gold and the variant death god domains red inside his body had imperceptibly also brought enormous advantages to his body. GE succeeded. On the surface, Xiao Wu yelled with excitement. They had already waited for a full seven days. Even though everyone had been relieved when the deep sea demon whale king torso spirit bone was sucked into the sea before, a seven day wait like this was definitely painful. GE, we're here. Oscar grinned, little San, you're streaking. Tang San then noticed his circumstances and quickly pulled out a robe from the 24 moonlit bridges to wear. Floating down, Tang San's gaze turned to his comrades, forcefully swinging his fist above his head, the eighth trial is passed, all that remains is the last sea god. Trial. Daimubai smiled, then what are we still waiting for? Let's start out immediately. No, of course we wait. Tang San, did you forget what I told? You? Xiao Bai spoke up to stop them. Under the effect of her energy, the deep sea demon whale king's already putrefying body was supported in the seawater, exposing its enormous head. Xiao Bai had protected the deep sea demon whale king's head very well, only eating its flesh. Rank 99 spirit power erupted, and without need for any spirit abilities, just physical strength and spirit power infused in the sea god trident the sharp main blade stabbed straight towards the deep sea demon whale king's head, from the side, be a bit careful. Xiao Bai hurriedly warned. Tang San nodded in the air, shifting the sea god trident slightly and stabbing into the deep sea demon whale king's gills. This was a comparatively weak part of the deep sea demon whale king's body to begin with, and now that it had lost its energy defense, the sea god trident easily cut through it causing a soft splashing sound. Tang San's wrist turned, and he flew sideways in the air forcibly cutting open the deep sea demon whale king's head, starting from the first cut. The devil spirit great white sharks in the sea now stopped their movements, no longer swimming around simultaneously looking in this direction. Even Xiao Bai's eyes revealed a somewhat thirsty light. The sea god trident flipped up, 
and the top of the deep sea demon whale king's head was lifted up. Instantly, golden light filled the surface of the sea. In fact, this deep sea demon whale king's body was extremely large, its head alone was more than 10 square meters, lifting the top of the skull immediately. Exposed the whale brain inside. Although the whale's body was large, the brain was very small. Even one as strong as the deep sea demon whale king was no exception. The limit of the brain was also an important reason its mental strength wasn't equal to Tang San. Right now after that more than 10 square meter head was opened, the brain revealed was less than 1 square meter. But, that strong fragrance emanated from within that less than 1 square meter brain. The whale brain was pure gold, seemingly moist and smooth like melted gold. The intense fragrance was extremely attractive. And in the middle of that whale brain lay a fist-sized entirely purple gold pearl. Although the whale brain was very attractive on its own, as he saw that pearl, Tang San couldn't move his eyes away. He had once seen a pearl when he killed the dark devil god Tiger. That one had three colors, but was much smaller than this one. The only difference was that the dark devil god Tiger's pearl seemed more spiritual. Xiao Bai's voice came faintly from behind, the brains of sea spirit beasts above 100,000 years will evolve turning into a special medicine. This medicine is an enormous tonic to any living creature, and moreover contains enormous energy, and can have very many effects. This deep sea demon whale king cultivated for a million years, its whale brain is naturally a good thing. Whether living or dead, flesh or bones it's definitely a treasure. As for how to use it, that's up to you. You killed it, you deserve this. I don't fear telling you, after you helped us kill the evil spirit orca king, I secretly ate the evil spirit orca king's whale brain. Do you feel I'm very selfish? Tang San shook his head, what, I'm your friend. Besides back, then I already had the biggest benefit of the evil spirit orca king's spirit ring and spirit bone both. Let alone that whale brain, if you wanted, I'd let you take this one as well, really. Xiao Bai stared in surprise. Tang San smiled softly, why? Doesn't my word count? Sighing, Xiao Bai shook her head, never mind, I appreciate your good intentions, but you better keep this thing yourself. Listening to Xiao Bai, Tang San couldn't keep his heart from twitching. Looking at the rhombic cavity in the sea god trident he turned his head to look at his comrades. Dai Mubai smiled Tang San nodded, taking off the wishful hundred treasures purse from his waist. Placing such medicinal things in the wishful hundred treasures purse was more suitable. Grabbing in the air with his right hand, a faint golden blue light densely covered Tang San's palm, causing a powerful suction force from the sky. First to fly out was that whale pearl and when Tang San caught it, the rich fragrance cleared his mind. Breathing deeply a few times, he felt unspeakable comfortable. Without studying it further, Tang San placed the whale pearl in the wishful hundred treasures purse, and then increased the suction force from his palm, using controlling crane capturing dragon. In the process, Tang San radiated golden blue light that circled his arm faint dragon cries echoing. Hunting the deep sea demon whale was painful, but the rewards were correspondingly enormous. Just that unknown level spirit ring and powerful torso spirit bone made Tang San's strength rise a large chunk. Let's go. Xiao Wu, what is it? Are you angry? I don't want to take chances either, but you know Xiao Wu hurriedly shook her head, no, I'm not angry. I know, you're helpless as well. If you don't grow stronger, how can you deal with powerful enemies? I just hate that I can't help you. Tang San put strength in his arms, pulling Xiao Wu's soft body close against him, whispering, who said you don't help me? As long as you're by my side you're the best help. Because only by seeing you will I not be at a loss, and everything I do will be more valuable. Tang San apologized, it's all my fault, after you revived I haven't had the time to keep you company. Xiao Wu, you know, I really want to marry you, take you as my wife with the grandest wedding ceremony on the continent. Remember, this is my vow to you. Before much longer, once the spirit empire is smashed, I'll definitely make you my wife. Then we can spend all our time together, okay? Then, you can give us a few children and wherever you like, we will live. Tang San drew a deep breath, his right hand holding the sea god trident, his left hand holding Xiao Wu's hand. Raising his head, he looked in the direction of the sea god palace. Dai Mubai stepped up next to Tang San, do we go right away? Do you want to rest a bit? 
His question naturally made sense. Ever since leaving the Heaven Do Imperial Army, Tang San had hardly stopped. Hunting powerful spirit beasts in the Star Do Great Forest, then being chased by God Level Chen Renshua, barely managing to escape into the sea, then having barely recovered from the influence of Ring Detonation, he had started another battle with the Million Year Deep Sea Demon Whale King, plus finally absorbing the Deep Sea Demon Whale King's enormous energy. Oscar grinned, naturally, with my crystal caterpillar sausage, there's no need to fear injuries. Besides, don't forget that Little San is a freak. Even though we Shrek Seven Devils are all monsters, he's definitely the biggest one. Don't delay, even if we rest it'll have to wait, until the Sea God Palace. Trust that Senior Bo Saishi wouldn't let Little San start the inheritance if his condition was off. Just as the Seven were preparing to set off, suddenly, Tang San frowned and raised his head to look into the forest ahead. In the forest, one figure after another slowly walked out. Seeing them appear, Tang San and his comrades couldn't help being shocked. Altogether seven people stepped out of the forest, the people that had once been their examiners, and moreover each guarded the sea god pillars, the seven sea god guardian Doluol. They could be called the backbone of the entire sea god island's strength. Led by sea god Doluol Bo Saishi, this power was enough to contend with any continental spirit master. Sea dragon Dolua walked furthest ahead, the other six following behind him, slowly advancing together. Judging by their expressions, Tang San couldn't help frowning slightly, because he discovered that these seven titled Dolua weren't looking too well, frowning slightly, and with a faint sorrow between their brows. Had something happened on Sea God Island? Tang San was inwardly shocked, and hurriedly went to meet them, seniors. This is. Sea Dragon Dolua raised his spirits, squeezing out a smile, we knew your friends returned and came to meet you. Lord Bo Saishi is waiting for you in the Sea God Palace. By the meaning of Sea Dragon Dolua's words, it'd be a wonder if anything had happened on Sea God Island, but what was up with their expressions? Tang San said doubtfully, Senior Sea Dragon, has something happened on the island? Your expressions are so unsightly. Tang San then understood. Yes. Once he inherited the Sea God's position, there would no longer be a need for these seven Doluor to guard the sacred pillars. They would also be relieved of their mission. Always quietly devoting themselves to guarding the sacred pillars for so many years had already become habit, and now they would become idle. It was no wonder they would be discomforted and reluctant. Seven seniors, no matter what the future holds, you are all the cornerstones of Sea God Island, this place cannot do without you. Sea Dragon Doluor smiled and nodded, Lord, please follow us to the Sea God Palace. He was already turning as he spoke, and as his gaze met the other seven Sea God Sacred Pillar Guardian Doluor, the smile was gone, deep sadness flashing past the corners of his eyes. But by then his back was to Tang San, and Tang San didn't notice. Only, seeing Bo Saishi also shocked Tang San. The Bo Saishi Tang San remembered, or to say, from first glance Bo Saishi hadn't changed from the seemingly thirty years old beautiful woman, she had a noble, graceful, gentle, reserved moving temperament, giving people an unreachable feeling. Her beauty was one that thrilled the soul, yet wouldn't give people fanciful thoughts. Tang San still deeply remembered the first time he saw Bo Saishi, in a red gown holding a golden scepter, leaving him with an extremely deep impression. But what he saw now was a completely different Bo Saishi. Still in a red gown, still that golden scepter, even her azure eyes as deep as the ocean hadn't changed but her youthful complexion was gone. Wrinkled skin and graying hair, she seemed like one at the end of her years. Tang San really wouldn't dare believe this was the peak power of the sea god island, sea god Doluo Bo Saishi. What happened? Why would she change like this? With Bo Saishi's strength, she could remain eternally youthful basically, without any need to take care, until the moment she died. Tang San looked at sea dragon Doluo and the others, and Sea Dragon Doluor saw from his expression that Tang San had already seen Bo Saishi. He shook his head at him with a sigh without saying anything. Speeding up, they headed towards the Sea God Mountain. Tang San frowned, catching up together with his comrades. They reached the ring-shaped sea in a moment. The ring-shaped sea was no longer a trial capable of stopping them. Tang San only soared up, six strands of blue silver emperor shooting out, and bringing his comrades to smoothly cross the 200-meter-wide sea, reaching the foot of the Sea God Mountain. The Sea God's light on the Sea God Mountain was still so touching, all the scenery still exactly the same as when they left. 
The beautiful view made everyone feel carefree and relaxed. Bo Saishi quietly watched Tang San. Her crystal clear eyes seemed to see something, but she didn't say anything, as if searching for something in Tang San's face. Tang San didn't speak either, letting her watch him. He wanted to ask questions, but watched by Bo Saishi's clear and flawless eyes, he couldn't open his mouth. The others also arrived at the top of the mountain. As Dai Mubai and the rest saw Bo Saishi's appearance, they couldn't help crying out. Especially Ning Rongrong and Zhu Zhu Qing covered their mouths. Only Xiao Wu who hadn't directly met Bo Saishi was better off. Bo Saishi's kindly gaze swept across everyone, are you very shocked? It's actually nothing, appearance is meaningless to me. You wait outside a while first. Tang San, follow me. I have some things to explain to you. Tang San nodded silently, following behind Bo Saishi into the Sea God Palace. Tang San sat down as she asked. Looking at Bo Saishi, he drew a deep breath, Senior, your current appearance, is it related to my great-grandfather? Don't tell me he didn't understand your intentions. As the peak Doluo of the present world, no enemy could possibly cause Bo Saishi to change this much. With Bo Saishi's status, even if she really met a god-level power, she would definitely sacrifice her life to protect the Sea God Island, but still definitely not turn so old as this. In Tang San's impression, Bo Saishi was an extremely proud person, otherwise she wouldn't have used that kind of method to reject his great-grandfather Tang Chen, as well as Qin Dao Liu back then. Tang San, you're very intelligent, and I will moreover also thank you. You finally let me see him one last time. I really am grateful. Even Tang Chen might not have thought that you could guess I changed like this because of him. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.